Hi, my name is Zen. I'm a second year medical student at SUNY Upstate. Today, I would like to share with you what I know of Hepatitis B. What is Hepatitis B? Hepatitis B is a virus that can infect your liver, causing chronic liver diseases such as cirrhosis, liver failure, and liver cancer. This Vietnamese woman is suffering from liver cancer caused by chronic hepatitis B infection. Most people think that hepatitis B is a rare disease, which is absolutely wrong. Hepatitis B is very common in many places throughout the world, especially Asia and Africa. About 2 billion people, a third of world population, have been infected with hepatitis B virus, HBV. Among them, 350 million are the chronic carriers of the virus. Every year, about 600,000 people die from hepatitis B related liver diseases. Although it is true that most of these deaths occur in adulthood, more than half of them result from infection acquired in perinatal period or early childhood. That's why it is very important to prevent infection since birth. Before continuing with liver diseases, let's talk about the functions of the liver. Liver is a very essential organ for us. It detoxifies unnecessary drugs and toxins. It decomposes all blood cells and aids in renewing blood. It produces proteins that are essential for our survival. It also aids in digesting food. A person with complete liver failure cannot survive for more than a week. Chronic hepatitis B infection can cause cirrhosis and liver cancer. Babies and children are vulnerable to get infected and likely to develop lifelong infection. Chronic hepatitis B infection develops in as many as 9 out of 10 infected infants. Some people think that you get jaundice from eating yellow fruits, which is wrong. Some people think that you get hepatitis B by eating contaminated food which is also wrong. Hepatitis B is only spread through blood and body fluids. You can get infected by contacting body fluids or getting blood transfusion from an infected person or by sharing syringes and needles that has been used by an infected person. That's why it is very easy to transmit the virus from a pregnant woman to the fetus. You can also get infected by having sex with hepatitis B virus carrier without using a condom, or by coming in contact with the blood or open sores of an infected person, or by sharing razor, toothbrush, and clothes. When you have hepatitis B virus, possible symptoms are loss of appetite, yellowing of skin and eyes, nausea, vomiting, fever, weakness, abdominal pain, joint pain, dark urine, clay color stool. However, not everyone will develop these symptoms. In fact, 30% of HPV carriers do not develop any symptom. Therefore, you cannot decide whether a person is infected or not based on the presence of symptoms. In addition, infants and children do not show any symptom at all because their immunity is weak. Do you have hepatitis B? Only a blood test can tell for sure. Generally, one out of seven immigrants and refugees from Asia and Africa is infected and can infect others. One out of two had been infected at one time in their life. One out of three need vaccination to be protected and to protect others. The best way to prevent HPV infection is vaccination. Hepatitis B vaccine is very safe to children. Side effects are very rare. It is even safe to pregnant women. If you're going to have hepatitis B vaccine, you need to complete three doses over a six-month period to be fully protected. Who should get hepatitis B vaccine? Everyone, especially newborns, children who has not been infected, any adult who wants to be protected, and people of any age with occupational risk. Where can you get the vaccine? Check with your doctor or healthcare professionals, or you can call your local health department for advice. 
If you have chronic HPV infection, don't worry. There are multiple treatments available to you, but you need to check with your doctor every six months. Let the doctor know all the medications, including over-the-counter medicine, because some medicine can hurt your liver. If liver tests are abnormal, see liver specialist. Avoid alcohol at all costs, because the alcohol can injure your liver and increase the risk to develop cirrhosis. In addition to protect others, ask your partner to get HPV tests and get vaccination if not infected. Protect others from contact with your infected blood or body fluids. Body fluids include semen and vagina fluids, sweat, tear, urine, mucus, or saliva from sneezing, coughing, or drooling. Do not contain HPV, and please do not share toothbrush, razors, washcloths, syringe, or needle with anyone. Do not donate blood, plasma, organs, tissues, or sperm. Do not pre-chew food for babies. If you have questions, go to these websites for further information. Thank you for watching.